I'm not fit on here. There we go. All right. Hey guys, I'm back. <clears throat> and uh, the other day, I did a little video about how I'm doing medically and spiritually and physically. No, I just did a little update explaining health stuff. I don't know if anybody watched it. I don't know. Haven't looked. But felt good just to do it. So, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Here we are. It's you battle. Music premium is an Shut up. What the crap was that? Sorry. I don't know what the hell just happened. <coughs> was that like voice activated YouTube? It knows we're talking about it. I'm not even going to edit that out. I'm going to leave it in because it's so weird. Battle box. Mission. Oh, fuck me. 105? Maybe. Yeah. Now, you guys know I like to do these no spoilers. There are two whole groups on Facebook that I avoid in the days leading up to Battle Box because I know it's full of spoilers. And unfortunately, I did, I, you know, just scrolling through a couple times, there is, I know something that's in the box and I know the drama associated with it. So, it's one item and yeah, we'll talk about it. I don't know anything else, but I, I did, that surprise has been ruined and it just figures that there's all kinds of drama llama ding dong going on with that one item. <clears throat> so, um, there's Sonic the Chinchilla. I'm gonna give you guys a Sonic the Chinchilla video soon, just for the hell of it. So let's go ahead and check out what's in this box. I believe Mission 105, if I'm wrong, I'm an idiot. And how often does that happen? We lost count. But it's definitely November. <clears throat> November. 2023 uh, a big long box that does not fit also of note after the holidays because Christmas for three kids costs more than my whole body's worth I'm gonna be doing a new mat because the old one's getting all beaten up so I have ideas and it's not gonna happen in the shop so let's see what we got going on this is what I was talking about. So let's let's see. We got hundred dollar voucher inside. Um, three. I love a condor knife and toolbox. That makes me happy. I'm gonna put this down before I hurt myself. Um. Oh, fire stuff. Fire flute. Kind of sounds porn related right now. I don't know if that's just because I'm on drugs or what. One of these guys. Is this what I'm smelling? Yep, this is what I'm smelling in there. And then we got this big old condor guy. And then, um, the YBX. And then, okay, now we get rid of this. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm sorry, guys. I'm giving it my all. Max effort. Okay, so, all right, okay. Should I say okay one more time? Okay, all right, here we go. So, Mission 105. Okay, thank God I was right. Whew. So, <coughs> Battle Box has four levels. We have, for those who don't know, we have the Basic, the Advanced, the Pro, and the Pro Plus. So when you buy one level, if you buy a higher level, you get everything that comes in at the lower level. So you can buy just the pro box, I mean the basic box, you can buy the pro and get all that, the event, whatever. Okay, good. So I think I'm going to address the 80 foot llama in the room. We're gonna talk about this $100 voucher because this is this is the spoiler I got. And this had some drama associated with it. Wow, this really, yeah, I got paint and everything on this thing. This is what I work on models on, um, but I have, I have like four, so. All right. <coughs> So in we're gonna jump we're gonna jump to the pro box and then we're gonna go back through the rest of the box okay guys. So Wiley X, what they did this month was give everybody a hundred dollar voucher that they could go to the Wiley X website and individually pick out what they wanted rather than just picking out. Now let me let me let me let me double back here. Wiley X is not bad. I have been issued, the three kinds of iPro I've been issued for deployments has been Oakley. Yes, we've gotten Oakleys. We've gotten ESS and we've gotten Wiley X. And we've gotten each one of them more than once. So this stuff, these guys do, they are 
national stock number certified, the kind of quality that can hold up on a deployment. Um, and I've seen people wearing them, you know, off base, off duty. Um, now the ones we got never had these fancy lenses. And yes, I did just say duty. Um, <coughs> the whole thing is what they tried, what they tried to do is they, they tried to make it so that they didn't just pick one style or one color or whatever and throw it in the box and make everybody happy. And I totally understand and respect the effort that went into this. Um, and I also respect and understand a comment that somebody made that I saw that like, we don't want a whole box of vouchers. And I don't think that was, that's, I don't think that's what they're gonna do. But in this one case, something personalized something personalized per, oh, something personalized you guys give me a sec personal personal I can't say it you can personalize something person personalizable there it is um you know everybody's got their own style and they have different frames whatever and this is supposed to be a hundred dollars <coughs> that you can use for anything on their site and it's supposed to give you free shipping. But the problem is they executed this in the most United States Air Force way possible where they said, hey, should we really test this thing out and everything before we deploy it? And somebody said, nah, it'll probably be good. And they threw it in the field, F-35 style. And then the F-35 gets to the base and the actual crews say, oh, shit, this thing doesn't work at all. Let's have them. Let's have them have to have to fix 125 million dollar worth piece of machinery as we go bit by bit, and that's kind of what happened with this thing, from all the spoilers I got and all the drama I read. So <coughs> originally the idea was you could use this, you could combine it with other discounts. Um, you know, if you have military discount or the ID me discount. Or the Black Friday discount and some people's voucher codes weren't even working because you had to some people had to put it in as a discount code some people had to put it in as a gift card it, it looks the, the ideas I applaud the principle the execution was like the Russian invasion of Afghanistan not that our invasion of Afghanistan went much better uh, it actually no, it was the it was the pull out of Afghanistan that went fucked. But anyway, our invasion of Afghanistan was shit hot. Um, so oh, and then <coughs> if you need now, Wiley X offers offers prescription lenses. This doesn't work with prescription lenses. Like I couldn't use this because I need prescription lenses. Hello, uh, in my sunglasses. So it it just it's there's a long like uh, <coughs> I've saw a post that was copied from the BattleBox member group because technically I'm allowed to be part of that, but I'm not going to be part of that. Um, uh, and it was a long sort of mea culpa. This is this is what we wanted, and this is what happened, and you know. Um, Lo much like Lockheed Martin, let me tell you something, guys. In, in, in 2015, at Tyndall, I got thrown into working with the F-35 because I that was the year I graduated at I'd say Air Force Weapons School, and I was, you know, a Weapons School graduate at Tyndall. And Eglin is an hour. <clears throat> Eglin is an hour down the road from Tyndall, so you know, me and a couple other guys, they were like, all right, you guys are technically are experts in weapons and tactics go help these dudes out at the 58th <coughs> and that would those were the years where the f-35 was a fucking dumpster fire and don't let anybody tell you different it was a fucking dumpster fire um and as i was reading through the comments i'm not gonna i'm honestly this was reminded the the rollout of this was reminding me exactly of the way they rolled out the f-35 with like um just just put it just 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 manufacture it and and you know it, it'll work it will we're sure it'll work did you test it out no do you want to test it out no just make it work um <coughs> so they had been working with wiley x to iron out the bugs and i have a feeling you know they're confident wiley x is confident that 
probably right after Christmas, I'm betting, conveniently, it'll all work just fine. So I can't use this because, you know, I can't, uh, you know, I mean, I probably could use it and just get sunglasses as a gift for somebody. But I think what we're going to do is I'm gonna wait till the bugs are worked out. We're going to leave this sealed and we're going to give this away on the channel. So basically, it is $100 worth of free sunglasses. Um, hopefully, by then, they will have worked it all out and made it work. And uh, I don't want to give away something that's defective, you know, but I think the idea is great. It's literally worth $100, so it's a $100 item. Wiley X's are not cheap, and it does let you customize what you want. Um, that's cool. Um, <clears throat> you know, ship right to your door, but let's just hold on and, and, and let them figure it out and make it, make it fully work, okay? So, um, yeah, so we're gonna give this away to somebody that can really make good use of it. So, in theory, it would get a like it. Right now, it gets a llama on crutches. I gotta find a picture for that. I don't know, okay. So let's go back to the basic box. <coughs> We're gonna start with the Outdoor Element Fire Flute, which still sounds kind of porn related to me, but most things do, so it's okay. There's a 52 second video here. I'm gonna hold this right here because there's a 52 second video that you can watch if you want. Okay, 52 seconds of fire flute. I don't know why I'm using a handcuff key to do this. I just had a knife. Um, so, <clears throat> this combines... Hang on, I'll get it open first. Give me a minute to catch my breath, too. that we got our tinder slow burning tinder we're gonna leave it there so first of all outdoor element has made some pretty good products and this is a very nice um anno orange kind of an interesting clip there this this makes me feel like they thought the clip wasn't very strong so they had to anchor it the hell out of it <coughs> but i don't know it's opening it up um, I kind of thought when I first saw this thing online one day, I thought that fire flute meant that you could start your fire, strike it, and then it would be like a bellows tube, you know, which would make sense, but it's not. It's a whistle. Not a very good one. Okay. I guess if you get it just right, I don't feel like messing with it right now, but you could store one of these tinders in here, possibly two. I don't know, does it say on the <coughs> on the back? No, it shows one. Um, we might do a follow-up using this, using this thing. Um, but so you can see here, you've got your, your carbide striker right there. And it would scrape along. I, I don't I don't feel like doing the scraping. We'll do we'll do a whole follow-up on this. I just nah, the hell with it. You guys deserve it. Do I have to do it like that? Yeah, like that. Get the coating off. There we go. It's not the most natural feeling thing to use the, the pen cap here, but... Oh, there we go, big sparks. Big sparks. Okay. And then it's a pretty pretty good retention on the clip so you could put that onto gear or whatever um, <coughs> you could also fill that with whatever whatever tinder you like um, I would probably still want to use this with the spine of a knife or something um, yeah much bigger sparks with the spine of a knife um, you know I guess you have that built in if you want to use it that's great <laughs> you don't have to. Um, so we've got all these little carbony things here. Um, so we will go outside and we'll test. We'll test this Tinder out. Um, 
I don't feel quick enough and with it enough to put out a fire if I need to in the house right now. So not bad. This is this is good, I guess. Um, and whatever. I like it though. Uh, you know, any decent fire starter, <coughs> I'll get behind. <coughs> Comes with Tinder. Great. Here's the Delta emergency water filter. Seventy-five gallons of water. <coughs> I'm not editing out any of the coughing this time. You guys have no idea how much coughing I edit out normally, because normally my lungs are crap, and I'm editing out little coughs here and there. Not doing it this time. Just not doing it. Ugh. Okay. Oh, okay, so each one of these is a water filter. So here's here here see that is that coming in clear? You can watch the video on that. I gotta watch the video on this. I feel like I want to test every single thing that comes in this box. You can use a schmog or a bandana to filter out turbidity. That's a good word. I've never seen that before. That's probably on me. Turbidity. Delta emergency water filter. All right. So you know what? <clears throat> We're gonna have to check this out. See how they have it. Like a little triangle going right into a, a bottle. <coughs> we'll see how well it filters out turbidity. Um. Oh shit! It only works on type one water. Throw away your type two and three. I have no idea what that means. I, I uh, fucking. So if this produces 75 gallons, each one of these does 25. I, so you could package them separately and put them into different bags or storage stuff. Uh, okay. <coughs> oh, there's instructions on there too. Okay, we're gonna do this when I'm not dying. Also, we're gonna we're gonna go out and test. But I kind of like the concept of this. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that it would seem that you've got to like once you once you assemble a, a filter. I don't know how long it keeps, so it's, I feel like it's kind of do 25 gallons right now or, or else. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. <clears throat> All right, and now the Johnny Slicks Beast Bar. So it's soap? Yeah, just say it's soap. Ooh, it's a, it's a bonus to our loyal subscribers. That's what it says. Their CEO is good friends with one of the owners. Okay. Johnny Slicks approached them with the idea to add this. Okay. It's 100% made in the USA. Okay. Free of charge. Wait. Free of charge? Well, I mean... Oh, I missed the thing. All right. So first we go to the Absorbits Wet Rescue... Wet Electronics Rescue Pouch. So I have a feeling I know exactly what this thing is. Your phone gets wet or whatever. I think we've seen something like this before in another box. Your phone gets wet, you put it in there, and you turn it off and you let this absorb all the water. You can do the same thing with a bag of rice. Uh, you put it in the sun, dry it with a hair dryer, dry it with a clothes dryer on the lowest heat setting. Um, <coughs> can be used as a handy storage solution during outdoor adventures. I guess the whole thing is, oh, it says rice can't wick moisture. Hmm. You know, the thing is, I'm just going to put this out there. I have I've had a phone fall in the water, and all I did was turn it off and just let it sit for a couple days and let the water, let the water evaporate out or whatever, and it has worked. I've done that with a computer, too, that had water spill all over it. Um, I'm not saying that this is not more convenient <clears throat> and, uh, you know, check the device in four to six hours. I, I still wouldn't check the device at four to six. I mean, I know they say check the device at four to six hours. It says repeat until it has been absorbed, whatever, for 24 hours. I'd still wait 24 hours. I wouldn't risk it. Um, I guess this would be, to me, I would just use this in a very humid area, maybe. I, I No, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't want to. I, I'm, I'm not doing editing on this one. I don't know. 
they say rice can't lick water, but I've physically seen people do the bag of rice thing, and I've seen their, their shit work after that, so I don't know. I don't, I'm in a bad, I'm in a bad spot to do a video today. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? It's got a clip, so you could let your shit dry on your belt, or, you know, carry it as a pouch. Um, they say it's the only product on the market that will reliably rescue electronic devices after they get wet. But, but, could you just take a regular pouch and fill it with Do Not Eats and let that do it? I don't know. <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> All right, now we're back to the Johnny Slicks Beast Bar. So, you know, to tell you the truth, I can't, I don't, can't really smell much. It's not COVID. I can't really smell much. I think it smells good. Oh, yeah. Open it up. I can smell a little bit more. It's got a... Uh... Oh. It's got like a... It's got like a almost... I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Is it a menthol-y smell? I can smell it, though. And I can't smell much else right now. I'm not going to... I'm going to take back any shit talking I was about to do. I can smell it. I can smell it really good. I'm just gonna sit here and smell this thing all night. I don't know if I'd wanna smell like this all the time. <coughs> but I can smell it. Um, <coughs> here, read that. Read that while I cough. <coughs> I smell too much of it. <coughs> Isn't this a fun video for you guys to watch? Um. I think it's a nice smell. I'm gonna ask Ariel later, and I'll put it in text if she likes it. They say it's free though. It's a natural body wash bar of soap. Okay. All right. Um. Next. Okay. So that's basic box. We're all done. We're done. Advanced box. Right line gear. Single cargo storage bag. Is that what this is? Is this a bag? It's just a fucking. Wait. What is this? Oh, look, if you want to buy Johnny Slicks and smell what I'm smelling. There's a thingy. And there's this. Okay. Okay. So what is this? Is this just, this is a cargo dry bag. Oh, it's a car, okay, it's a dry bag for like a suitcase or some shit. Hide your body in here. Guys, if you have not watched, if you have, go go to YouTube and wa go look up the Eye Drops murder trial and just watch that shit. I know it's 16 days of court, but holy shit, what is wrong with people in this country? It's the same judge that did the Daryl Brooks case, so I was happy to see that because I like her. I think she'd like she'd have a good career as like a dominatrix if she wanted. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a dry bag. It's a big dry bag that you could put your, um, you know, stuff in. I haven't seen a dry bag this big in any box in a long time. So we got that going for us. So the mindset I'm in right now, if you wanted to, to cache a lot of stuff, maybe throw it somewhere in a river, somewhere where you wanted to keep it dry, not even in a river, but you bury it, make sure it stays dry because you're a little uneasy with events in the country these days, this would be it. This would be it. You could you could, you could, could cover a lot of stuff in this bag. It's, I mean, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. It's a dry bag. How many times have we seen dry bags? We know how dry bags work, but this one is big. It's big. Okay. I like the fact that it, it's a lot larger than some of the ones we've seen lately. All right. Uh, figure eight carabiner. Um, by Night Eyes. I've had a few of these. Uh, I've never actually used them for anything they're they're intended for. Um, if you're an avid camper climber, this will be useful to you. I, I mean, I've had them because I figured I should have them. The truth is, I never really used them. <coughs> you have to you have to need this to really make use of it. And the truth is, I've never really, I've never really used it. That doesn't mean it's not useful. I really like Night Eyes stuff. Night Eyes makes really good stuff. 
um, they do. They're all their all their gear is solid. Um, all their products are really good, well made. Um, so I don't know. I'll probably end up giving this away to somebody because I just I won't use it. All right, we already talked about the Pro Box, the Wiley X. Now let's look at the Condor El Salvador Machete. I love Condor Knife and Tool. Um, I have had, there was that one time, you guys remember that one time we got something from Condor that wasn't quite sharp? I don't know, someone out there probably remembers the exact video because some of you guys are really good at that and I'm not. But there was that one time, everything else from Condor has always been just really good, really, really good. And this also looks really, really good. So. Looks like we've got a, uh, I won't call this a D, this isn't a DLC. This honestly this just looks like a heavy lacquer coating. Um, but, you know, to preserve the, the steel, because I'm sure this is a carbon steel. Yeah, they say carbon steel. What kind of carbon steel? I'm not sure, and I might find out by the time I do the video and I'll put it in. But the finishing on it looks very well done, very even. Beautiful handle. And the Condor stuff is all finished by hand, by the way. That's what I love about it. So it might be off a little bit. It might not be perfectly even, but it's all done by hand. It's got a very nice weight. Love the swoop on the belly. And uh, now I know that this is not the point of machete, but I just want to see. Look at that. A machete does not need to be that sharp because that's not where the cutting force of a machete comes from. But like I said, 99% of the time, a condor comes finished perfectly. And it was just that one time that we got a one-off that was not. And it didn't take any time to get it really just perfect into a uh, cutting shape. So this is, I like this a lot. Condor makes great stuff. And... Uh, there's gonna be the one guy who's gonna say, you're using the cloth. I know, this is a really shitty cloth. This is the same shitty cloth I used last time, just as like a troll move. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know, and if you don't know, it's okay, it's okay. Um, this is just, this is a, a concept cloth that is not very good. Um, but that's okay, because it's supposed to be there. Um, so to people that are wondering, just, <coughs> yes, I know we want to keep our carbon steel blades oiled, but I can't show you the finish on it if it's covered in oil. And I will keep my carbon steel blades oiled from, from you know, that point on. But I like to show you the finishing on a brand new blade so you can see. I don't know if that was there or if that's a mark from us cutting paper. If it is a mark from us cutting paper, that's kind of lame, but whatever. Like I said, I didn't. I don't think that this is the world's finest coating. A lacquer, a lacquer paint coat is not very strong because it typically doesn't have a primer coat under it to help it really adhere to steel. Remember, paint doesn't like to stick to metal very well. Um, primer sticks to material and paint sticks to primer. Um, and when you just put just paint straight on something like metal or plastic or whatever, unless it's a two-in-one, it doesn't tend to stay very well. So, but that is a really nice machete. And um, hats off to Shay, who did a great job sourcing this one. It just feels really good. I definitely want to put a lanyard though, because it is this one is particularly front heavy, um, which will help you with your your chop and your slice. But I, I would want to definitely have the lanyard on this one to keep it well anchored to my wrist. So I can definitely get behind this. I'll have to look up how much it costs, but this one's nice. So, and then of course, oh look, Condor's moving into like 21st century materials. I could look through the Condor catalog and pick out a hundred different things that I want because their stuff is really, I love it. Their stuff's really good. So, 
tell you what, I never mind spending money at Condor. You guys look at Condor and comment something in the Condor catalog that you, from their you know website or whatever, that you would like to see tested on the channel. And we'll, uh, we'll look into doing more Condor stuff, because we should, because Condor is awesome. So that's the box, guys. <coughs> we have one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, seven items, and then our freebie bar of soap. So um, tell me, what do you think? You'll notice I haven't done a lot of like it's, don't like it's, things like that. I feel like there's some stuff we need to test out. Um, I definitely want to test the water filter. I definitely want to test this. Um, I definitely want to take this and do some hacking and stuff. Maybe cut through some cans of soda and make them explode, because that's always fun. <coughs> that's going to take me a few days <coughs> until I can do that. Um, but um, I promise, as soon as I know that they have worked out the bugs on this, we're going to do a giveaway, and we're going to put $100 worth of sunglasses on somebody. Um, hopefully somebody they'll really appreciate or give it away give it away as a present you know whatever you want I don't care it's gonna be yours so guys please tell me what do you think what's your favorite oh the leather on this I forgot to smell it I can't I can't really smell oh man wait if I put this on it oh now it smells like fine liniments and stuff um tell me guys what do you think is your <coughs> favorite item your least favorite item uh, most useful least useful what do you think of mission 105 <coughs> you know next month at mission 106 that will be 100 months of battle box on this channel and i checked somebody suggested that maybe i missed a month somewhere along the way i didn't there is that it will be our 100th battle box and i'm um, i'm really considering maybe at that point stopping and putting the money towards something else Maybe we'll just go straight to uh, the shit hits the fan box and just laugh at it every month. I don't know. So anyway, thanks for bearing with me on this one, guys. I hope you weren't too disgusted with everything. Uh, but I really wanted to do this one. So, <laughs> there's just one bonus. Remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome. And I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll be back again real soon.